How do you do, ladies and gentlemen? This is me with my regular blog. My name is Jackie Mason. For those of you who may not know who the hell I am, you're probably saying to yourself, why should I listen to him? Because when you listen to me, you learn something that you don't learn anyplace else. People are lying to you all the time, and they make a kind of career out of defrauding the American public. And the politicians of America give you these feel-good remedies about life, like one of the things they always tell you is gun control will save everybody's life. Meanwhile, more people are getting killed every day in this country under gun control laws that exist in every city and every state that even the federal government, is, we have nothing but gun control laws. How come it doesn't stop anybody from getting killed? I'll tell you why, because the people who are enacting these laws don't care about your life, they care about proving that they're saving your life. And they never stop to look at the statistics to find out if they're accomplishing anything or not. People are getting killed by the millions every day all over this country. There's more people are losing their lives in America than in most war zones of foreign countries all over the world. If this was a foreign country, the United Nations would be in session to find out why so many people were killed here every year. And they would think it's an international problem and they would send police forces from the UN to find out how we can put a stop to it in this country because the amount of fatalities here is comparable or even more than what's going on in any country in the world and wherever there's a war going on. In Iraq right now, not as many people are getting killed every year as they are in America. Nobody declared war here, but in effect, we're given the license to murderers and killers all over America to kill whoever they please because of gun control laws. They know you don't have a gun, and they do. So what have they got to lose? They made you into a sitting duck. You became a professional victim. They told you they're protecting you with gun control. No murderer cares about gun control. A guy who's about to kill you, who's not afraid to go to jail for the rest of his life will get an electric there, is not worried about getting caught or holding a gun. That's not his fear. He has no fear of carrying a gun, otherwise he wouldn't carry it in the first place. You know why he has no fear? Because he knows he got nothing to lose. You're there as a victim. Imagine if, if you put a set up a situation where, where the cops have no guns. Why do cops carry guns? Because they know if they don't have a gun, somebody would kill them. So to protect themselves, they carry a gun. So why is his life worth more than yours? Now you say, well, he's a cop. He's a dependable person. He knows how to use a gun. But if you know how to use a gun, you could do the same thing he does. Let's assume you learned how to drive a car and you got a license to drive a car. Do you say only certain people should drive a car? Anybody who could have, who learns how to drive a car gets a license to drive a car. And once he knows it, you trust him with a car. That same person who could kill you with a car could also kill you with a gun. But you trust him with a car because he has a license to drive a car. So why can't you give him the same license you give the cop? Test him, find out if he's honorable, dependable, and if he's a legitimate citizen, and give him a gun, just like he gave it to the cop. And all of a sudden, your life will be protected. Because nobody's going to start shooting at you if they know you have a gun, and you could shoot back. And that's why a cop has a gun, and you should have a gun for the same reason he does. People say, well, if everybody had a gun, people would go out of control, and they're liable to kill each other in the streets. Everybody has a knife in this kitchen, and more people are killed by knives than by guns. All the statistics prove it. Why don't you make sure that nobody in the kitchen should have a knife anymore? Do you know how many people are killed every year by, by chairs? Why don't you take the chairs away? A lot of people, when they get married, they hit you over the head with a chair, or with a pipe, or, with any, or how about a hammer? Do you know how many people are killed every day with hammers? Should you take hammers away? If a person wants to kill you, he doesn't need a gun. More people are killed with other instruments than guns. But the point is that the people who have a gun know that if they come into your house, by the time you pick up a chair or pick up a hammer or pick up a hanger or pick up anything else, you're already shot. Therefore, you need a gun and the gun will protect you for the rest of your life. Because the murderers should not have a gun as long as you don't have a gun. As long as he has a gun, you better have one. It equalizes the playing field, and it gives you the same chance to live as he does. And I guarantee you, every statistic in every city or state, wherever they found out that the average person is allowed to carry a gun, crime went down 30, 40, 50, 90 percent. And how come the people who are fighting for gun control never stop to think of the impact it has? How come they never bothered to find out are people's lives saved in cities where they have guns or where they don't have guns? What's the comparative level of, of, of murder, of killing, of destruction of human life? For the, they never bothered to find out. You know why? It'll kill their speech. Their speech is that they're in favor of gun control and they're saving your life. They're not saving your life. They're determined to kill you. They don't know it. That's not their purpose, but that's what happens. That's exactly the result of that speech. Gun control is a fake and a 